everyone. I hope you're doing really well. It is Saturday, November 18th. It has been extremely busy around here the last couple of weeks. I have been buried in my studio underneath project bags and leather bags and just trying to get a few things ready for the new year. It has been extremely busy, but I thought it would be fun to just pop my head up today and film a quick video sharing what I've been working on, say hello before Vlogmas starts, and also share a little bit about my holiday shop update, which is coming tomorrow, which is Sunday, November 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've been working towards this update for quite a while now. I am so excited about some of the items that I'll be adding to the shop and I thought it would just be fun to check in before we all ease into December and start the whole Vlogmas routine. I haven't really had a ton of time to be knitting the past couple of weeks because I've been sewing a lot, but I have done a little bit. I have finished a project which I am absolutely in love with. I am really excited about that. So I'll share that one with you. I still need to weave in ends and block it, but it is finished and gorgeous. I have two whips that I'm currently working on. One of them is kind of a long-term project. One of them I should be able to finish in a night, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it just yet. And I purchased some new yarn recently that's been waiting for me to cake up and cast on something new. It's kind of a project that I wanted to start in December, so I'm not really putting too much pressure on myself, but I would love to get all of the yarn wound up, put in a nice bag, cast it on, and get it ready to go. I'm so excited for my Advent socks this year from the Cozy Knitter, and just all of the things that come with December, I'm really looking forward to slowing down after a busy couple of months and just enjoying the most of December. Just the cozy nights, the quiet. Hopefully we'll get to do a couple of fun things, but really we kind of hibernate during December and really just enjoy our home and delicious hot chocolates and movies at night. So I'm excited to share with you when the time comes, December 1st, I will be here. And today I am just going to share what I've been working on and what is coming into the shop tomorrow. Let's start with a finished object because I absolutely love it and I need to share it with you. This is the Saturday Shrug, which is a pattern by Jackie Rose from Caddy Jack's Knits. I'm sure you've seen some of these online it is super popular right now with very good reason. It is an amazing project. It is a wonderful knit. It's really comforting and easy to knit, but it also creates the most beautiful piece to add to your wardrobe. I am so excited to start wearing this. I still need to weave in quite a few ends and give it a good block, but as soon as I do, I think it is going to be in heavy rotation in my wardrobe. I think it's perfect for this time of year. I feel like right now this November weather is quite chilly and you need a coat. But My fall coat sometimes isn't quite enough but I don't want to pull out my winter coat just yet and I think this will be perfect to just pull over top. It adds such a punch. I love it. I really like how you can pull it down and kind of stay cozy and it's still really really pretty, but then you can slouch it up and almost wear it like a cowl. It is beautiful. The yarns that I used are absolutely stunning and they just make this piece so luxurious. They are from the Lamb and Kid. I ordered a kit from them. It was a mystery kit actually. And the only thing I put in the little note section when I purchased this was a request for cool colors because I preferred that over warm. I didn't really want any reds or oranges and I think I noted that. And I may have said that I loved purples and cool tones. So this is what they chose and it could not be more perfect. I really, really love it. 
I enjoyed knitting it as well. It is all rib. It's just a big tube and there are a lot of support videos for the cast on and bind off. I followed everything according to the pattern. I've got all of my project details listed on Ravelry, so you can go check out the project page over there. My username there is Sandy Ran. And I don't remember all of the colors, but this called for the Lamb and Kid Todd Worsted in two colors. And then it's held together with their birdie, which is like a mohair. And I don't remember the names of the colors for the mohair, but I know the uh, Todd Worsted. The blue is called Juno. And then this beautiful cranberry color or purpley magenta is called Picant. But everything's listed on my project page, so you can have a look over there. I am really looking forward to making more of these in the future. I feel like I need classic colors, like maybe a navy and a red. I also have um, a kit upstairs in my knitting stash for like a kind of like a gradient neon in a chunkier way. I'm really excited to knit a couple of these. I just think they fit my wardrobe so well. I enjoy knitting them. They are the perfect project for me. And I think it was really well timed that as I was getting back into knitting after having a bit of a break and just not feeling it for a while, that this was kind of the project to get me back into it because I fell in love with knitting all over again. So this is a really wonderful finished object. I am so happy with it and I will definitely be making more of these at some point. Oh, it's so pretty. I have only been working on two other projects. One of them is a long-term project. I keep it in one of my small leather totes. This is the Black Plum, and I don't know why, but I'm really into using my small totes as a project bag right now. I have a couple of big projects in mind, and so this is the perfect bag to hold all those extra skeins and keep it at home. I really like using this one. So this project is my half and half triangles wrap. I've worked on just a couple of rows of this, and I'm all about the purples right now. I always am. Purple is my favorite color, but I think lately I've just been really drawn to a lot of cool toned yarns and purples and magentas. I have a lot. This one is the Purple Smoke Linen Quill Yarn from the Pearl Soho. It's the half and half triangles wrap, also from the Pearl Soho. Project details are listed on my project page on Ravelry. I'm in the middle of a row right now. But this has just been my comfort knit. I leave it in my bedroom. I knit a little bit whenever I can. And I've enjoyed picking that one up again. It's just a really soothing knit. I have it in like another project bag that goes in this tote bag. So whenever I want, I just pull this around the house with me and pick up to do a row as, soon, as often as possible. The other project that I have been working on, but I sort of paused because I'm at a point where it needs a little bit more attention, is my DK Vanilla Socks. Which are right here. This is my second sock and I am ready to do the toe decreases. And that's the only reason I've paused. I know it won't take me long, but I've just been so busy doing work in the studio that I haven't really felt like picking up my knitting and thinking much. If I pick up knitting, it's just to work on some garter stitch on my half and half triangles wrap, but I'd really like to finish this toe. I keep trying on the first sock and I'm reminded of how much I love this fit. It's the perfect gauge, the perfect fabric for me, I don't know if I love the feeling of fingering weight socks on my feet. I think that's the conclusion I've come to and I love the squishiness of a DK sock yarn. The 
This is one of my favorite colorways. I know I've shared it before. It's Legacy Fiber Arts DK Sock Yarn in the color After Dinner Mints. Do you guys remember those After Dinner Mints? I know my mom always used to have them around Christmas time. These are the exact colors of them that I remember. And I cannot wait to wear this sock. It's the DK Vanilla Sock Pattern by Kay Litton who I adore. Kay is the crazy sock lady. Um, it's the perfect pattern. I followed it exactly. Um, I use my favorite needles, which are the Knit Pro Zings. These are the US 3s, 3.25 millimeters. So I really just need to focus on getting this toe done as soon as things calm down in the shop. This is going to be my priority. But this is where I get kind of stuck on projects. I think I'm an all or nothing kind of person. So I'm either all in when it comes to knitting or all in when it comes to home projects or all in when it comes to work deadlines. There's no balance with me. It's all or nothing. And I'm kind of missing my knitting already ever since I finished this and started to get super busy in the studio. I've been craving more knitting time. I just haven't been able to sit down and really focus. So those are the only two whips that I've been working on or thinking about working on at the moment. But I do have a new project on my mind. I'm really excited about it. I ordered yarn a few weeks ago. I ordered yarn a few weeks ago from Pearl Soho because I really love their linen quill and I've had the number 10 shawl by Versace Knits on my mind for months and months. I had seen a picture of it on Instagram. I saw a couple of them after that that really inspired me and it's been in the back of my mind for a while and once I was getting back into knitting this fall and finishing some things and frogging a few things, I thought this would be the perfect project for December. I'd be happy to cast on before December if the time comes, but I really just picture this as a cozy winter knit. I'm not sure why. I'm not much of a blanket knitter, and I feel like this is going to be that cozy winter knitting project for me. This is the gorgeous box of yarn that arrived last week. I ended up just playing around on the website and adding colors to my cart to try and pair together colors that I thought would make a really fun project. And I'm pretty happy with all of them. There's one color in here that I'm not sure I'm 100% in love with, but I feel like in the end, it will work out just fine. So there are 10 colors in this shawl and I'm pretty sure that you pair two together and then there are different configurations or lengths in each row that make the whole pattern and I've kind of picked them in pairs so I felt like these two would be a beautiful pair. Um, this is raw sienna, this is crocus bud. I'm trying to remember how I paired them I think I paired these two together. These are Red Poppy and Peony Pink. So you can see you'd already get this beautiful combination of colors. Um, I think, let's see here. Kind of losing track of how I paired them, but these are the the rest of them. I've chosen this color I fell in love with. It's one of my favorites. It's called Clover Green. I thought it might look nice with this color, which is Pale Oats. And then I think I paired these two together. Peachy Pink and Blue Pansy. And then these two together, which are 
vintage celadon and rhubarb pink but i might play around with them i know i took a photo of the combinations when they arrived i was playing around and kind of matched them up i feel like these might not be the ones i chose but i haven't confirmed exactly which ones will go together but that's a good idea but these are some of my favorite ones if i could have half and half triangle wraps in these as well I would totally have them. So that is something I'm really looking forward to caking up. And my plan is to put all of the yarns in my forest green small tote bag. I know I pull this one out every December for a project. I just love this one. I feel like it's the perfect project bag for a big project like this. So that is on the to-do list as soon as I get all of these project bags done for my holiday shop, shop update. My plan is to just have a winding session and cake up all of that yarn and get it ready to go. I'm really excited about that project. I will also be casting on my advent socks on December 1st from The Cozy Knitter, which I cannot wait to start. I'm not sure if I will do a contrast cuff because if I do, I can do those cuffs before December 1st and get that project ready to go so that on December 1st, I can just knit one stripe on each sock. It's such a fun thing to do. And I will be putting that project in my new holiday project bag. These will be going in the shop tomorrow. So I think I'll share a couple of things for the shop update now. Um, the update is planned for Sunday, November 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will have a lot of these small project bags in the shop, and I really love this fabric. You guys know how much I love my coffee mugs. I kind of have an obsession with them. I don't know if you've noticed, but I got a new tree mug for my mugs. I think last January, so it wasn't in last year's Vlogmas. I saw my friend Jennifer had this beautiful tree mug in her kitchen and I went on a search for it, I found it, and I've really enjoyed piling my mugs on that tree mug. I have rotated all of my Christmas mugs to it and been using some of them this week. And I just thought that this project bag and this print was perfect for me. It's got all of these adorable holiday mugs, little marshmallows floating around. I've put in a pink zipper and a gold tassel. And I just think it is so pretty. So this is what I will be using for my advent socks this December. I did actually find a little bit of extra fabric from last year's holiday bags. I had two project bag bags last year. And if I can get zippers in time, I've ordered some. If they come in in the next week or so, I might be able to pop in a few of these a little bit later. They won't be in tomorrow's update, but these sugar cookies are such a cute print. I really love this bag and I have a little bit of fabric. So my plan is to add a few more of these as well. Um, and then they should be in the shop in probably, I don't know, I'd like to say the first week of December, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So project bags are coming. I've also been restocking some leather items in the past couple of weeks, including one of my favorite pieces that I haven't had in stock in a while. It's the small zip pouch with the wristlet attachment. I think it's the perfect gift around this time of year. I love this as a teacher's gift or to put under the tree for someone or just for yourself. I have a couple of them floating around that I use regularly. I like to keep um, just little purse essentials like a lip balm, my business cards, a nail file, just things that I like in my purse that I don't want floating around at the bottom. I have one of these in my purse for those. I also have one for notions somewhere. And I've added quite a few different colors to the shop. And I just think they're perfect for this time of year. So lots of those have been added. 
and I have added two more leather colors to my selection. They will not be in the shop until tomorrow's shop update. I thought they were the most beautiful colors for December, but they are not just for the holidays. They will be staying around because I love them that much. I've added a gorgeous red, which I have had a red bag in my shop before, but it was a different leather and I didn't continue using it, but this one caught my eye recently and I knew it needed to be added to the shop. I'm calling this Cardinal and it is the most beautiful red. So it will be in the shop tomorrow in the small zip pouch and also in a new bunny bag. Oh, I think it's so beautiful. I'm kind of torn between putting my advent socks in this bag or in this bag. I think I'm going to put my new ones in this bag and I still have socks from, I think it's from the first year's advent that I did that I haven't finished. I have finished all of the other ones from the Cozy Knitter except for the first year. And so I think that might be a good bag or this might be a good bag to put them in and try to pick them up and finish them off. So pretty. I've also added another color and this is one of my favorite colors. I've got yarn in this. I've got sweaters in this color. It is a really pretty deep teal and I will have it in the zip pouch as well as I did have another bag a bunny bag. So those two new colors will be in the shop tomorrow. And I'm actually working on a couple of large tote bags, a couple of commuters, a couple of carryalls in these colors as well, because I think they are beautiful. I think they'll be a really nice addition to the colors that I already have. And they're just perfect for this time of year. So that is everything for my shop update. That is everything that I've been working on. It's my dream knitting, which I'm ho hoping to cast on in the next couple of weeks. I am going to wrap this up because I have so much to finish. I've been working through the last couple of weekends and I feel like this weekend is no different. I need to finish up some project bags, get everything organized in the studio to get ready for that update tomorrow. I will be shipping at the beginning of this week and kind of buried in packaging and um, all of that stuff. And then as soon as that is done, I will be pulling out all of the Christmas decorations, starting to get this house ready. I'm already thinking about asking Glenn to hang up the curtain lights in the front window. I'm not sure if I want to do that this weekend, but that is the plan. Get this house ready and then I will be back December 1st for Vlogmas and I'm really looking forward to sharing all of the holiday things with you then.